will be dear to you. I can forge weapons for you, for a fair price. Do come back alive. I need your business. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Wait, where are you going? Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the last hero. The two swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The last hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Boletaria and protector of the two swords. 
<laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, legends are all we can depend upon. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Valifax and Bure. Alfred, the knight of the tower. Metas, the knight of the lance. And the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost. And Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog. And will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. But perhaps our...